one news. All covered with cheese. All covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball. I lost my poor meatball. When somebody Did you sneezed. sing that as a kid? Oh yeah. <laughs> Red fucking everything. On top of spaghetti, a children's classic and perfect for National Pasta Day, which, by the way, happens yeah. to be today. In fact, October is National Pasta Month. We're cooking up some homemade ravioli in the kitchen today. The thing about pasta is, you know, when you have kids especially, it's one thing that everyone seems to eat. I mean, my kids just chow down pasta night like crazy, which is awesome. So we love pasta day. Joining us this morning is Chef Jacob. He's from Marcelli's Restaurante, nice. Pizzeria and Wine Bar, and a uh, brand new restaurant, right? Brand new. Just opened on September 30th. Uh, very happy to be here. Welcome. Thank you very Congratulate. much. Congratulations. Welcome to Colorado. Welcome uh, the restaurant to, to, it's in Lohi? It is in Lohi. Uh, it's located at 1801 Central, uh, right in the bottom of the Centric apartment awesome. building. Awesome. Nice. Uh, we're open seven days a week for... Uh, for dinner and then Saturday, Sunday for brunch, uh, happy hour Monday through Friday, and a wine enthusiast night Sunday and Monday. Nice. Not a bad deal. So you're going to teach us how to make homemade ravioli today. And pasta's hard to mess up, well, right? It is pretty hard to mess up. So there's a few <laughs> tricks here. Um, it's easy for Megan to say. She's an expert <laughs> chef, let me yeah. tell you. Uh, there's a few tricks that I'm going to use. I bought some store-bought pasta sheets. Okay. Very easy. Uh, That's, is that cheating, though? It's not cheating. I mean... It, the, the consistency of pasta is a lot better if you just buy the sheets. Okay. okay. Um, you could put any filling you want in there. So we're going to take this goat cheese filling here. And this is on top of a ravioli mold? They, yeah, this is on top of a ravioli mold. And you got this from Amazon? I did. Okay. For about nice. $25. Okay. Good. Just pipe it right in. And did you make this mix, or is this also something that you could buy ahead of time if you want? Uh, I made this mix. This is a goat cheese, ricotta cheese. A little bit of Parmesan and yeah. then an egg wow. and some breadcrumbs to hold it together. But kind of like lasagna, you just kind of create your own, right? Yeah, yeah. whatever flavor you want. You can yeah. put chicken in there, beef. Nice. Cool. And then all we're going to do is lay so this good. other pasta sheet on top, push really it down good. a little bit. All right, and that then seems if you want, easy you can so just far. Roll this right over the top. Okay. Yeah, let's get this on. Are you going to break something, Megan? <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> I, so, think, I think Megan will just get carry out from your restaurant. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so once we roll it over the top, they'll pop out just like this. Okay, let me try. No, you get you, you, you move on there, chef. I'm going to just try and see if I can get this to pop <laughs> see, out. See, it's not as easy as it looks, Kurt. It takes some muscle. I know, right? <laughs> the stronger the better on that one. <laughs> okay, all right. Put some weight into it. So once we've got it popped out, we're going to boil it? Yeah, boil it for about three or four minutes. Uh, fresh pasta cooks very quickly. Uh, you don't want to boil it too hard. Your ravioli could break open and all your cheese will disappear. So then how do you know when it's ready? Uh, it'll start to float up to the top. These are pre-cooked. Okay. But they'll float to the top, get nice and hot, and uh, the texture of the pasta will change. Okay. If you touch it and it's soft, it's pretty, pretty easy to eat. Look at that. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> you seem very unimpressed. Well, I'm you're trying to one-up my rolling skills here. here. All right, so then we, after it's done boiling, are you gonna are you gonna do anything else to the raviolis? I'm gonna toss it in this sauce. It's a little bit of toasted garlic go. uh, with some Roma tomatoes, roasted eggplant. Wow. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some butter. That's that flavor I smell. Look at that. Yeah, perfect. That's great. <laughs> I did like you're hired. Did plus, <laughs> right. You're hired. You need a thousand pieces for the weekend. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I give up. This is cool, though. And so then you get to cook the ravioli in with the sauce. Yeah, you cook it once they're hot. Just oh I gosh. take them right out here, put them straight into the sauce. Well, we gotta go. That that's pretty much it, though, right? That's it. Then we plate it, put a little basil wow. and some shaved Parmesan cheese on top. Don't mind if I do. Chef, thank you so much. Again, well, we appreciate you. you guys. We welcome you to Colorado, brand new restaurant. We always like checking out new restaurants, and I hear great things. Thank you very much. I've, I've heard I'm nothing but good here. things. Happy Pasta Day. National Pasta. Day. Are you gonna eat those ones? Uh, I'm going to boil them, right? <laughs> Put them in here you now? Take yeah. them apart. It's <laughs> a new style. Yeah. She just yeah. boiled a strip of ravioli, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Megan's, Megan's